Hi everyone and welcome to this really quick Geography GCSE revision video for the AQA specification. Now today we're going to look at how an oxbow lake is created. But first, what is an oxbow lake? An oxbow lake is a cut off, detached, separated, whatever phrase you'd like to use, meander. An oxbow lake was once originally part of the main river, it is now separated. And that's due to the process of erosion and deposition. So let's dive straight in. I have split the board into three sections, one, two, three. Um, let's go straight into stage one. So the first thing I'm gonna do is draw my river. So bear with me, here we go. Right, there's my river. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put on a dotted line, a dashed line to represent the fastest flow. So where the water has the greatest velocity. And as I'm sure you've learned with your geography teachers in school, the fastest flow is always on the outside bend of a meander, always. So here we've got a meander. Here's our second meander, and here's our third meander down here. Now it's this rib, this part of the river, this meander, which is gonna become separated. This is going to be eventually our Oxbow Lake. Now let's just focus on this part of the river valley here. This is known as the neck between these two meanders. Now, along this outside bend, along this outside bend, because the flow is greater, there's going to be a higher rate of erosion. So I'm going to put on some crosses so you can see erosion. I'm going to write E for erosion. So as this outside bend, the top outside bend here where my finger is, and this outside bend where my thumb is, if they're both being eroded, over time, the neck is going to get more narrow. These two bends are going to move towards each other. So let's move to diagram two. I've got to redraw my diagram now, but just a little bit different to show this change. There it is, just like that. Perfect. Put on the fastest flow once again. Here's, here's our neck. So you can see that now there's a, a real noticeable difference in the river landscape. So here for diagram one, we've got the neck. It's quite wide. You know, these two meanders are not really that near each other. But over time, due to the erosion on the outside bends of both these meanders, the neck has become more narrow, almost meeting. And I'm sure you've all worked it out by now, that is eventually what will happen. So as this bend erodes further to this meander, and this bend erodes further to the meander above it, the neck just gets more and more smaller. I mean, there's a tiny little gap there now, and eventually it will just break through. And the water will take the quickest route through uh, the river channel. So I'm just going to move my board over slightly so you can see diagram three. That's perfect. So once that happens, we're now in a situation where the river channel completely changes. There's our detached meander, our Oxbow Lake. Right, here we go. So the gap was getting more and more narrow, 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 until eventually the water just takes the quickest route and comes through. And here we are. So there's our river now taking the quickest route going through. But what happens here and here, because the water is no longer flowing up and around the meander, the water is now slower in this part of the river. So because the water is slower, you can hear my pen tapping away, 
we're going to get all the little fine pieces of sediment that the river is carrying, transporting. It's just going to be deposited. It's just going to be dropped. And of course, you know, this takes a long time to happen. But eventually, that deposition builds up to the point where no water is actually able to go through and around the meander because the deposition has reached a point where it's quite high. So eventually you get a point where there's no water now flowing through the Oxbow Lake. I mean, you might have some vegetation in it over time, but eventually this Oxbow Lake is going to dry up and it'll just be a scar in the landscape. It'll just be a bit of a trench um, right next to the actual river itself. So there we have it. There's our Oxbow Lake. A once former proud meander. And there it is. So key points to remember, you've got your two meanders over here, the neck in between. Fastest flow is always on the outside bend. So the neck becomes more narrow over time, which is what diagram two is representing. Then eventually the water will take the fastest route through once those two bends have eventually met. Water will stop flowing around the third meander, this one here, that meander, there it is. And obviously we're gonna get a build up of deposition there and there where the flow is slower and it's not as much energy. And that's it. So there's our detached meander now and oxbow lake hopefully that was useful for you all um if it was please do give this video a like subscribe to the channel and please do share this video with someone else you know that may benefit from it thank you for watching